Hello, my name is Jeff Morris. I'm a senior application expert with Imagina Technologies, and I would like to welcome you to today's video tech tip dealing with line coding within Civil 3D. This is the third part of a three-part series, therefore line coding 103. As discussed within the previous two parts, the line work code sets have been around Civil 3D for quite some time. They allow line work to be created by importing point text files into the survey database, similar to what we used to do by importing electronic field books. The line work codes work in partnership with the figure prefix databases, where we can predetermine which layers these lines should be going on, or what Civil 3D style they should be following. In part one we looked at the bread and butter coding, and in part two we looked at some more advanced coding techniques. In part two we also looked at how we can predefine these lines as being break lines, and in this part we'll look at how we can predefine them as being lot lines and to create some parcels. We will also look at some additional advanced coding techniques. The bottom line is, through surveyed property lines, right-of-ways, and easements, we can contribute to parcel management. So in this part, for the advanced coding techniques, we will be looking at the special line segment codes for rectangles, right turns, and extent. Within the figure prefix database, we'll be looking at how we can predefine these as being lot lines, and notice that the L line segments will be going on to the survey site, where the easement segments will be going on the easement sites. So let's get started and have a look at Civil 3D. I want to create another survey database. You will note that my IMG properties is my current survey database, and my line work code sets are set to imagine it. Within my IMG properties, I have my L lines predefined as lot lines, and they will go, be going on the C property lots layer on the survey site. My edge of right-of-way is also going to be going on the survey site, but it's going to be defined with my road style. My easement right-of-way is going to go on its separate site under easement. And with the Imagine It line work code sets, you will notice that my delimiter is a slash and my field escape, escape is a semicolon. So let's bring in some point files. And the first one we'll be bringing in are our right of ways and fences. The line work comes in. And you will notice that they are indeed lot lines. However, since no lot lines intersect, no parcels have been being created. Also notice that in our prospector we only have one site, our survey site. Now when I bring in the next point file, the property lines, Now the lot lines do intersect and you will notice that I do have a parcel in the middle here and that parcel is on my survey site. I'm going to bring in one more point file for my easements. And now you will note that I have a parcel for my easements and a parcel for my properties. I have a new site for easements and in that is my property. So please note that the rules that we set out in our figure prefix database were followed. The easement line work went on their own site called easement and even though that site did not exist in the drawing prior to the import, it created that site and put the parcels on that site. Now I'm going to discuss more advanced coding techniques. This is the building that we'll be bringing in, building one. My first point 
and then my second point is going to be building one and I'm going to do a right turn on that. I'm going to extend my point 4.455 meters beyond this point and then it's going to start doing the right turn. It's going to right turn at 7.5 meters and then at negative 9.08 meters which means it's going to do a left turn. It's going to do another right turn, another right turn, another right turn, and then another left turn, another right turn, another left turn, and then it's going to close it off back at to the first point. You will also notice that this is all spaced eliminated. So what I need to do when I import that event I need to make sure that my linework code set is set to IMG space. And here you see the results. It brought in the first point, brought in the second point, extend that by 4.45 meters, did a right turn, a left turn, a right turn, a right turn, another right turn, then a left turn, series more of right turns, and then it came to this point and closed it. Now let's look at a different method. I'm going to delete that import event, which will also delete all the points and the line work. And now we're going to be bringing in another point file. This one is a little bit different. First of all, it has my regular slash delimiters. And you will we'll notice it's very similar, except for the end where I don't do my last right turn and my close. But what I actually do is I just put in my rectangle command. So I don't have to make sure that my last distance is the proper distance to close it at a right angle. That is what the rectangle will do for me. So let's bring in that event. I need to change my line work code set to imagine it. And now it brought the line work in. This time with the slash being the delimiter, it again it extends it. But you notice at the very end, it no longer does my right turn or my left turn, and it simply calculates how far it needs to go before it can close this off at a right angle. That is what the rectangle does for us. So through these three parts of this line code set series of video tech tips, we looked at the basic bread and butter coding techniques, we looked at how to do various offsets from line works so that with my horizontal and vertical offsets. We looked at how to create property lines on different sites, and we looked at various extended methods, advanced methods for creating line work on different layers or different styles. I hope you enjoyed this video tech tip. For more information, please visit us at www.imaginit.com or you can call us at 1-800-356-9050. Please check back often here for more video tech tips, white papers, and blogs. Thank you very much and have a good day.